So in this video, we want to briefly discuss additive identity matrices. So remember from our properties of matrix operations video, we saw that we have an additive identity for matrices. So there, there exists a matrix that is the zero matrix so that when we add it to A, we get A. And the idea is, is that the additive identity matrix is just simply going to be the matrix that contains zeros as all of its elements. So for example, if we were working with two by two matrices, so we have, let's say we had a matrix with elements A, B, C, D. It should be pretty clear that if we take a, a two by two square matrix that contains all zeros, that when we take the sum of these two matrices, the identity of this matrix A, B, C, D is going to be preserved and it isn't going to matter the order in which we add those two matrices. So if I do the zero matrix first and I add it to the matrix A, B, C, D, I'm still going to get the matrix A, B, C, D based on how matrix addition has been defined. So the two by two zero matrix is the additive identity for the set of all two by two square matrices. And usually we would denote this with a, a big zero and then we would subscript it with the size. So if I just, if I'm writing and if I go zero sub two by two, I'm telling you that I have the two by two identity matrix or two by two matrix that contains all zeros. If we were typing, we would make this zero bold so that it stands out. So you can see here, this is bold. So it doesn't have, we don't have to be doing this with square matrices either. I could have a three by two matrix. So I could have something A, B, C, D, E, F. If I had a three by two matrix, then the additive identity for three by two matrices would be the three by two matrix that contains zero as, as all of its elements. And clearly when we add these two matrices together, the identity of this matrix will be preserved. And this would be the zero three by two matrix. So if we just generically had an M by N matrix, we would just subscript, if we wanted the identity matrix for the set of all M by N matrices, we would just take a zero. If we were typing, we'd make this bold. And then we would just say zero sub M by N. And this would just simply mean the M by N matrix that contains zero for all of its entries. 